Hey guys, back with another video. <clears throat> Sorry, I had my mic up. I hope you heard me. But I'm back with another video on coding. Really excited about this one. Um, let me see if I can remove this. Sorry. I was so excited I forgot to reset. Alright, so I have all my code here. I figured the best way for me to do this, so the videos are a little bit shorter and you guys have more time to actually hear what I'm saying, is instead of rewriting the code, I'm just going to remove the comments on this line by line as we go through it. So, we're doing the valid parentheses challenge on Code Wars. It says write a function um, called that takes a string of parentheses and determines if the order of the parentheses is valid. The function should return true if the string is valid and false if it's invalid. Here are some examples. So, first thing I did was just take the function and throw it over here. There we go. So, when going through this, um, it looks like it's going to be pretty complicated. I mean, I made some code that was pretty long and it passed about 97% of the tests, but three individual things it did not pass, and I couldn't explain it. I was like freaking out, and I just, you know, especially after eight hours of coding course, I think maybe I just needed to take a break because I was overcomplicating it. That's what I think I was doing. So I was talking to a friend of mine who understood code and had him kind of give me an idea. You know, he hadn't coded in a while, but he, you know, still remembered everything to an extent. And uh, we kind of came up with this. So it was a collab code, and at least I understand it, which is the most important part. Uh, there was this other code that I did not understand. This. This guy's code worked 100%, right? all this and yeah his was for one a little bit more complex than what we were dealing with but like point is I copy pasted this code into Code Wars and it worked but since I didn't understand how it worked I refused to take this answer and submit it because I'm either gonna learn what's happening and then I can submit it if I fully understand it and can teach you guys if I can't then I'm not gonna submit it not gonna make a video and just keep working around it even if the way that I come up with is longer if I can understand it it's better to do it that way All right. so anyway back in Code Wars um, what we came up with here was an open variable equaling zero and what's gonna happen is we're gonna go through the length of the string that they give us and anytime it's an open parentheses we're gonna add one and any time it's a closed parenthesis, we're going to subtract one. So the first thing we need to do is obviously a for loop. So for i, uh, for let i equal zero, i less than parens dot length, which is the length of the actual string itself. It is not split into an array. And then we're going to do if parens dot char at i equals that. So char at is the same thing as index of. So when it loops through, it's going to be zero. So parens um, zero is going to be, if they wrote this, it's going to be that first open bracket right there. If it's equal to an open bracket, we're going to go ahead and add one to open number. If it's not equal to an open bracket, we're going to go ahead and subtract a number. Now the reason for this is this will instantly determine whether or not we closed off a pair. So I'm going to write down here, so like if it went like, like that, it would be plus 1, plus 1, minus 1, minus 1, and end up a 0, showing that they all closed appropriately. If it did, let's say, that after, you can see that that closed, that closed, that closed, that closed, but since there's no valid parentheses left for this last open, or rather closing parentheses, that would make this open number equal negative one, because it will never close. So then what we did over here was outside of this if, but within the for loop, we made a second if. And what this if does and again, I want to iterate 
it's not attached it's only within the for loop if open number is less than zero so if it hits that negative one meaning there's a closed bracket somewhere it didn't belong it returns false so then we close outside of the for loop and we do if open number is equal to zero meaning that everything is paired off then it's return true else return false and you just close it off that's literally it this is the simplest thing if you had seen what I had written before that only passed you know like like a hundred you know everything but three of the of the questions thrown at it it was way more complex than this um, this is very simple it's just looping through and doing that and instantly checks without being like a huge equation like what I showed you that other guy did his was like involving like mapping out you know this array and then you know checking last numbers popping and pushing things and all this different stuff whereas if we just did this it's very simple looped right through past the kata and we were good to go all right so that's pretty much it um, I think I already showed you guys but There we go, past 119, and yeah, so hope you guys enjoy, that's how this works, if you have questions throw it in the comments, and I will check in with you guys on my next one.